I think that this is my first luxury designer haul this year, well, at least collective designer haul this year. And it sounds kind of crazy because it's November, but here I am. I have collected these goodies over the course of the last few months, and I am very, very excited about every single thing that I got. So I just have to share. But I have noticed that people aren't posting luxury hauls as often as they used to. Do you still like watching? luxury hauls should i still keep posting them let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below now let's start okay so first up i got something from alaya and if you saw my vlog if you saw my la rock alpha village shopping vlog you definitely noticed this item i mean it's impossible not to so let me show you are you ready for the sparkle here we have the alaya ballet flats and i mean these are just fabulous the ballet flat trend is going strong and i love these because they are not like classic ballet flats i feel like there's something interesting going on like they are ballet flats but at the same time it's not like the typical ballerina like the chanel type of ballerina even though i love them as well but there's just something happening there's a strap the shape is a little bit different and there's of course the crystals so i love I love everything about these. No more ballet flats for me though. Now I have a pair in white. I have the black ballerinas from Chanel. And so I'm set. For sizing reference, I got them true to size. And they are very comfortable. But there's only one part where they bruised me. And it's over here in the heel area. But since they are made of lambskin, I think that they're eventually going to get worn in. And they're not going to give me any more pain and just comfort. Next up is another pair of shoes and I am very 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 excited about this one because it's my very first pair of Amina Muadis. I had always wanted a pair but I feel like I just couldn't justify the price tag because I don't really wear heels on a daily basis or at least sandals like the Amina Muadi sandals on a daily basis, so I couldn't justify the price tag. But then there was a huge discount on a bunch of Amina Muadi shoes on Matches Fashion. This is not sponsored or anything. There was just really a crazy sale going on. And I think I got these like 60 or 70% off. And in the end, I paid maybe like 300 euros something for these shoes, which is crazy i i just have to show you let me show you the dust bag it is so pretty and so smooth and silky and shiny and here we have the shoes so these are the so much packaging i'm so sorry okay so here we have the there's the packaging they are really heavily packaged but these are the gilda sandals let me remove all of this packaging so that i can show them properly okay so here it is the gilda sandal and this is in white leather with crystals and then we also have the signature amino muadi pyramid heel or martini peel, peel peel heel i don't know how people are calling it and it's just the perfect timeless classic strappy sandal for any occasion that i may have in the future i think that they are beautiful the heel height is relatively comfortable for a person that doesn't really wear heels so i think that these are just done now a quick size reference i got these half a size up and i'm so happy that i did because literally every single person would say to take your usual size but then when they would model the shoes i would see that their heel is slightly going over the shoe so i kind of put two plus two together and thought that maybe it's safer to take half a size up and I was right I was so right because they fit perfectly and my heel doesn't go over them but at the same time my feet is not sliding out of the shoes so I would recommend taking half a size up but you know I mean everyone's feet are different so yeah that's just my personal experience okay and now very random I also got the Chanel Christmas beauty set I think that's what it's called and for three years I have been ignoring it because everyone's been raving about it everyone's been going crazy for it and it's been sold out on every single website and I mean people are losing their minds over this thing so I was like I, I have to see what the hype is about and I got the hydration set it came into this golden pouch and on the inside I had the 
lip balm in a box and also the classic hand cream also packaged in a box for some reason i thought that everybody loves these because they're like very high quality or something and truth is they're not it's the typical cheap makeup case that you get as a gift with purchase with many many other brands but of course in this case it's actually not because if i had bought both of these products separately i would have actually saved seven euros so essentially i am paying seven euros for this makeup case and honestly normally i would send this back because it's simply not worth it but i do have a holiday coming up and i don't have a makeup case in this size anymore so i'm going to keep it but the only thing that i wanted to say with all of this is that it's not worth the hype and it's definitely not worth stressing over because it's just it's a cheap makeup case like do you hear it i, I can put it i can put it close to my microphone like it even sounds cheap you know it's just super super basic so don't lose your mind over this don't go crazy for it i mean i could see how it could maybe make like a nice gift to your mom or grandmother or someone or your sister but other than that for yourself unless you really love this design it's not worth it i just realized that it kind of sounded like a rent even though it wasn't supposed to be a rent so if it came across as a rent please just ignore me and if you still want to buy it just buy it life is too short let's buy things that bring us happiness and on that note i bought something from one of the hottest brands of 2023 miu miu it's a pair of sunglasses and this is definitely not going to be for everyone so they arrived in this cute pink velvet pouch it says miu miu over here and it's very very pretty and here we go i mean are you ready to hate on this item here we go the very very y2k sunglasses from miu miu okay now hear me out back in may i saw them on the beautiful sydney sweeney and i completely fell in love i am a sunglasses person i believe that sunglasses can make or break an outfit and these just i, I was obsessed but i wasn't obsessed with the price tag so i waited for a discount code because with sunglasses you can always buy them with a discount code like maybe you're not able to buy a Miu Miu bag with a discount code but you'll be able to buy sunglasses with a discount code and finally 24s came through they had a 25 percent off discount code and it was applicable to these sunglasses so of course i immediately bought them and i love them let me put them on and guys don't laugh okay i think they're cool do i i mean of course they don't look as good on me as they look on Sydney Sweeney but I feel like this Y2K trend is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger Chanel just released similar smaller sunglasses from the Coco Neige collection so this is something that we're going to be seeing more and more plus I love how they dress down an outfit like right now I'm wearing this formal vest thing but with these sunglasses it's like a completely different look so that's exactly what i was talking about sunglasses can either make or break an outfit and i feel like this is a look like this is maybe not fashion week but this is something that i would feel like really cool wearing you know so anyway i'm rambling because i am so excited i love these they're just so cool let's move on and now i have the grand finale something from my teresa and this is a major wish list item yes i am going from something very very trendy like the miu miu sunglasses to something super timeless and so beautiful so let's open it i have said before on my channel that my goal is to buy one max matter coat a year two years ago i bought the camel icon last year i bought my very first teddy coat in this beautiful caracal gray and this year i bought another icon but this time in black this coat is simply stunning i love the cut of this coat i love the length of this coat and the quality is just something else when i tell you that i'll be wearing this for the rest of my life i am not joking 
it is so beautiful and it is worth every penny so that's it for today's haul you guys let me know what were your favorites and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and let's wrap this up because this box is very heavy so as always thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love shopping and i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe